Hey guys, how you doing? This is Juan with Liberty Graphic Designs. If you guys do sublimation tumblers, I'm going to show you a couple of tricks to make it easier when you're doing sublimation tumblers. So don't go anywhere. Okay, so one of the things that uh, I see a lot, um, on like, for example, on YouTube, right? Not on YouTube. Um, yeah, on YouTube also, but mostly on Facebook. A lot of people are having problems with the, with the uh, shrink wrap sticking to the tumbler. Uh, usually at the bottom, that's where it sticks on it the most. But you can also get it, um, let me remove this so, so I can explain it better. You can actually get the, um, the shrink wrap stuck to the tumbler at the top and it's, it's more common at the bottom so i'm going to show you a trick on how to do that you probably most of you probably already know how to correct that problem but one of the things is see that little silver thing right here we don't need that we can remove that because um it's just going to melt and it's going to come off so if you can't remove if your tumblers have this little silver thing at the bottom remove it it's a sticker it doesn't need it uh, you don't want to put it in the oven like this because it's going to melt so and it's going to come off okay so just let me go ahead and print what i'm going to print uh, on this on this uh tumbler and uh just so you guys know because i get a lot a lot of questions of what kind of printer i'm using i'm using an epson f570 it's a true sublimation printer it's not converted this printer has come uh especially for that another another question that i get is do you mirror the the uh, image Yes, if you have a converted printer, you have to mirror the image. If your printer is like a Sawgrass or an Epson F570, an, F, an Epson F170, or any sublimation ready printer, you don't have to mirror the image. Those sublimation ready, sublimation ready printers um, are ready to go. So all you gotta do is, is just click print. But if your printer was converted to sublimation you do have to mirror the image otherwise it's going to be backwards on your on your tumbler so remember that so let me hit print so you guys can see what i'm going to be printing on this thing okay so again for those that uh, ask me what kind of printer i'm using i'm using an epson f570 and the paper that i'm using is epson um sublimation paper as you can see this is pretty wide my printer prints 24 inches wide this is actually two pieces uh, for, for two tumblers. I'm only going to print one and as you can see the logo is humongous. It's pretty big. So um, one other question that I get asked a lot. What is the size that you print? So I print tall wise. I printed eight, and a, eight by one or 8.1 inches. That's tall. Okay. Let me hold it up so you guys can see it. This way is eight inches or 8.1 this way this way is uh, 9.3 so before you go to print anything make sure you measure your tumblers that way you're not you know wasting paper not that the paper is pretty expensive but again you don't want to be wasting paper so again my prints are 9.3 by 1 I'm sorry by 8.1 so that's that's the measurements that I that I print um, the, the uh, ink that I'm using is Epson T49M. It's also by, uh, by Epson. Uh, so everything that you saw here, <laughs> here is done by Epson. So Epson F570, Epson paper, and Epson inks, okay? But again, if you guys have any more questions, you know, you feel, feel free to ask any questions that you may have. If you ask me questions that are in the video, I'm not going to answer them <laughs> because it's like you didn't watch the video. <laughs> so let me cut this real quick and then I'll show you the little tricks that I, that I was going to tell you about. Uh, let me cut this real quick so we can uh, put it on the cup. Okay, so I got my image cut. It's ready to go. So remember when you're cutting your images, make sure you cut very close to the line. Okay, you don't want to see any white showing up right there so you want to be very very precise when you're cutting it 
uh, this way, okay? So make sure that it's cut perfectly. So again, like I was saying at the beginning, normally one of the problems that, that we get is that when we use our shrink wraps, um, some people are leaving them in the oven way too long like six, seven, eight, there's people that leave them in the oven for 10 minutes. They don't need to be in there that long. That's why they're burning and sticking to the, uh, and sticking to the, to the tumbler. So you're supposed to leave them in the oven at 400 degrees for four minutes if you're using a small oven. If you're using a big oven, go down on your, on your temperature to about seven, uh, 375. It's too hot. But speaking of that, I'm gonna turn my oven on so it's, you know preheating okay so let me show you the first trick that I'm gonna do actually let me let me put the artwork I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and put the artwork on the uh, on the tumbler okay when you're working on the tumbler don't be grabbing it like this don't be doing that if you do happen to grab it like this um make sure you keep a towel wipe it clean with alcohol you know make sure it's nice and clean you don't want your oils on your hand to be transferring on the actual uh, tumbler and it won't the sublimation won't adhere correctly or you're gonna have spots um, you don't want that so make sure that your tumbler is nice and clean also make sure that you're using heat tape or heat resistant tape um, for this so now I'm gonna apply my artwork and on this one, all you gotta do is um, wrap it around, right? So again, make sure that when you print it, it's nine by three, I'm sorry, 9.3 by 8.1. And that's gonna cover the tumbler all the way around. So now, if you notice, mine overlaps, I know it's really hard to see on the video, but mine overlaps a little bit, just a tiny bit. That way you won't have a gap. So if I open it, you can see that gap right there. You don't want that because then when you go to sublimate, um, that line's gonna show. So again, make sure, that's why I cut mine at 9.3. But make sure you measure the tumblers because sometimes even by printing a 9.3, not all the tumblers are exactly the same. So. And the, the reason why I'm saying this is because on this one, I noticed that this one is, oh yeah, it is overlapping. So, so yeah, make sure you measure your tumblers. That way you just, you're, you're right on the money. Now, I don't know how good you're gonna be able to see on the video, but right now my artwork is not, it's not lined up correctly. It's, uh, it's almost uh, staggered. So make sure that it's lining up correctly. And for you to do that, flip your, um your tumbler upside down and then just top it on top of a table like this. I know this is my hand, but top it on, t on top of the, the table and that's gonna line up the, the paper with the tumbler exactly like perfect. So I'm gonna do it on this right here. I'm gonna do it right here. Or let me do it on top of the oven so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So see right now, the paper is gonna be lining up with the tumbler perfectly so that way you won't have a, a line right there or mismatch okay so now that you know that your paper is lining up correctly get a piece of uh, heat tape and put it on top and make sure that you're putting it from the side that is overlapping onto the other side okay and then do the same now on this one you don't need a lot of tape I seen people put tape down like that and then this way you don't need a lot of tape you only need enough tape to to hold the uh, the paper down because remember we're gonna be using a shrink wrap and the shrink wrap is gonna be it's gonna be the one that is gonna be doing the work or holding the paper down okay so there you go I put four pieces of tape on this one again you don't need any more the only thing you need is for the uh, paper to stay in place so what i did it's um i lower remember how i told you to flip it over like this so the paper is lining up with the uh the rim of the uh, tumbler now i i flipped it over the other way and i lower it just a little bit i know it's really hard for you to see it on video but it's um i lower it just a tiny bit 
Okay, so I want a little wide rim around the the tumbler. So now let's go over for the uh, one of the one of the tricks that is going to keep you from uh, having your tumbler or or the shrink wrap sticking to your tumbler. Okay, so what you want to do is to prevent the uh, or to keep the uh, the shrink wrap from sticking to the tumbler. So what we're going to do is we're going to pla place the tumbler on a piece of paper and then just draw a line all the way around. Like so, right? You're going to need one for the bottom, you're going to need one for the top. Don't do it right next to each other. So I'm going to show you why in a little bit. So we're going to make a line all the way around. Now, I'm going to go back to the first one because I didn't finish it correctly. So once you make a, a, a circle all the way around, grab your pen, put it against the uh, tumbler like this and draw another line like that. Or you can do the second line uh, just eyeballing it, you know, just like that. And basically you're going to create another circle and it don't have to be perfect. As you can see, mine is not perfect whatsoever. So, so you're going to have something like this. So this circle right here is representing the tumbler. This one right here, the second one, that's where you're going to cut. So, so let me cut this one. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just like that. And then once you cut the second, cir second circle, just cut like little triangles, cut them off. Just like you see it like that. So I wanna cut them every, uh, like every, uh, every inch. And this right here is going to save your tumbler. Because if you get if you get the shrink wrap stuck to your tumbler, um, some cases you cannot re recoup the um, the tumbler. So you want to do something like that. If you want to put more in there, you you can. Let me cut this other one. And again, you don't have to be perfect. As you can see, I am not perfect whatsoever. So again, as you can see on this one, I'm putting more than the other one. Just like that and if you guys do a lot of tumblers um, go ahead and do a bunch of these ahead of time that way you have them ready okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna place it on top and then all these little deals are gonna go down right grab you a piece of tape make sure you're using heat tape okay so just grab a piece of tape and hold it down and again it it doesn't have to be a piece of tape in every single uh, um, in every single slot you know you can just to hold it down just like that we'll hold it down let me put it this way that way we'll grab two at the same time and let me tell you it don't have to be pretty okay so this is just to prevent the shrink wrap from sticking to the to the tumbler so now we're going to flip it over we're going to do the same on the other side if you want to put one all the way around you can it's not necessary okay so now that you have your your tumbler ready you know <laughs> again it don't have to look pretty here comes the other the other trick and this one's this little trick's not a lot of people either they don't know them and if they do know them, they're not going to tell you. Okay, so the other trick that I'm going to show you is a string. It's a piece of thread. Just make sure that this is heavy duty thread. This one right here, we use it to uh, thread leather. So that's what this is for. Um, again, make sure it's heavy duty, not your regular household um, uh, thread. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a loop. 
on both ends. So just like that, create a, a loop just like that. And this will come in handy later on. I will show you. So I'm gonna create a loop on the other side. There you go. So we got a loop. We have a loop on both ends. Both ends have a loop. So now, yeah, make sure you drop it on the floor. So now what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your string and just put it right there. Just like that. If you wanna put a piece of tape, so you don't lose the, the string, just put a piece of tape in there to hold the string there. And you can put, you don't have to do this. Um, you can do it just like that, but it's easier if you put a piece of tape to hold the string there. So now that we have our string in there, now you can grab your, your um, shrink wrap. So I'm gonna grab my, my shrink wrap and a little trick for you, for you to uh, put the shrink wrap in there easier. Kind of take it out. Let me show you because see how it wants to go back and fold itself back. So kind of take it out. And then just kind of do that. And now it'll stay open, be easier for you to slide it in. Okay, so now we're gonna put the shrink wrap in or the tumbler in the shrink wrap, but I wanna keep my string in there. Make sure, you, make sure that your string is on both sides. See how this one is on, on this side? And then here's the other one. So slide your shrink wrap. And this is what I meant, that you don't need to put tape all the way around on the paper because you're just gonna tuck it in the, um, the shrink wrap. See that? So you just tuck it in. Again, make sure that the string is sticking out, okay, on both sides. Because you're going to need that string later. Okay, so now we're going to be shrinking the, uh, the shrink wrap, right? And again, make sure you wear gloves. Because this is, it's not that hot, but it's still heat. Okay, so there you go. It's already shrunk. Uh, you don't have to, it don't have to be like super tight because this right here is gonna go in the oven and it's gonna, it's gonna get tighter uh, once it's in the oven. So um, right now it's tight, but it don't have to be like super tight. Again, because once, once we put it in the oven, it's gonna shrink itself even more. Okay, so now it's time to put it in the oven. Now, make sure that both of your strings are sticking out on both ends, see that like that? And then here's another trick that I that I do when I whenever I do my tumblers, even on this oven or on the uh, big oven. Take a, a regular piece of paper, this is copy paper, just normal piece of copy paper, printer paper, whatever you guys call this, and then put it inside the oven. That paper is gonna keep the, the uh, shrink wrap from sticking to the grill on the on the oven and also if you guys didn't protect it correctly it won't stick to the tumbler now if you guys if you do have a a, a, um, a oven a small like this one a small oven like this one you don't want to be opening the door a lot because you'll lose that heat very very quick if you notice I open it put the piece of paper in there and I closed it so because I don't want to lose that heat so remember, we're gonna go at 400 degrees for four minutes. This oven has turbo, 
So I have it on turbo, 400 degrees. I don't know if you guys can see it on the video, but we are at 400, 400 degrees turbo, and then I'm gonna put it at four minutes, <laughs> four minutes, okay? And I'm not gonna open the door to, to spin it. I, I, I'm gonna put it in there, and that's it. So you can either put it this way, or you can put it the other way. Now I'm gonna set my timer to four minutes. And uh, I'll come back at the end of the, or whenever this thing <laughs> beeps, and we'll get it out and show you uh, what we do with those little tricks. Okay, so the oven stopped. That means it's ready. Let's get the, uh, let's get the tumbler out. Again, make sure you wear gloves. Um, because this thing is super hot. So again, one of the things that you're gonna know if your um, if your um, tumbler sublimated correctly, you're gonna be able to see the image right through the paper. And I don't know how good you can see it on the video, but it looks really good. So as you can see, the paper doesn't burn. I mean, and you get a little twist, toasty but you don't burn it all the way. So that one, I just actually use it twice. That's the first time, so then I can use it again. Um, I'm gonna wait for this thing to cool down and then I'll come back. Okay, so the uh, tumbler has cooled down to the point where I can handle it by hand. It's still, it's still not like super hot, but it's still a little hot. So now, let me show you the little tricks and how you can use, uh, how you can use those tricks to remove the um, shrink wrap faster so normally if I don't know if you can see it but this shrink wrap has is perforated so you can take it off easier but as you can see it doesn't really come off easier it just comes off in little pieces this string what well, you can do the reason why I put a loop on it on the on the uh, on the string watch I'm gonna hold it on one end so if you see I'm holding it with my thumb and then I'm gonna grab the other end. Let me see if I can put my finger in it. It's kinda hard because I only got one. There you go. So, okay, so hold the string with, with your thumb on one end and then with your finger on the other and watch. And then just give it one snap, like, just like that. Here's the string. And that already cut through the uh, string grab. See that? That's how easy it is to use one of these strings. Again, just make sure that this is a heavy duty string, okay? Don't go grab a, a regular sewing um, uh, thread because it's not gonna work. When you pull it, it's gonna it's gonna break. This ones don't break. This is for leather. Um, you can find it on, on um, Joann's or any place that they sell um, sewing stuff. You can, you can get some uh, heavy duty um, string so see now you can take the entire thing at one at one time see that you can do that even with these things being perforated you can see the can you see the perforation yeah right there so even with them being perforated you can't you can't get it off not like this so that's how easy it comes off so now did you see that I took out the paper that I put at the bottom and notice nice and clean there's no, literally no residue left behind at the bottom or at the top. So if you do those little uh, tricks. So now I noticed that the paper kind of shrunk. Huh, that's kind of funny. I can see a line right there. I've never seen the paper do that before. Okay, so now we'll remove the, uh, the, the heat tape and then let's reveal the tumbler. Yeah, for some reason the paper shrunk a little bit. You see a line it's a line right there let's see if you can see it it's a line it's like a yeah it's about that big huh but anyways there's the finished product and again this video was mostly for those little tricks where you can put a piece of paper on the bottom piece of paper on the top and then use that trick with the string so you can just remove it you know like as fast as you can the, the uh, string has to go on top of your artwork and before the shrink wrap. So you can um, just cut the shrink wrap faster. So that's it. Look at that. See? 
Livery graphic designs, very colorful. <laughs> so that looks pretty cool, very nice. Another thing I forgot to tell you guys, whenever you go to print your images, make sure that you dump um, not a lot, but somewhat um, uh, sufficient ink on your on your uh, prints. So don't do it light, like kind of do it like, if, if you have a, subl uh, a sublimation ready printer, do a heavy uh, quality. If you have a, um, a converted printer, make sure you do it like a glossy paper with a fine or best quality print. That way you have a lot of ink going into the tumbler. Another question that I get asked a lot, do you need to put epoxy? Do you need to put clear coat? No. Do they scratch? Yes, if you scratch it, it will scratch. But will it scratch just like that? No, it won't. You do not need to put epoxy. Do you, not, you do not need to put clear coat or any type of coating. Sublimation is ready. It's ready to go. You don't have to cover it with anything. It will not come off um, at all. Um, another question. <laughs> can you put it in this washer? You can. However, it's not recommended to put any of these uh, tumblers this one, the Yeti, the Arctic, uh, whatever tumblers, it's not recommended to put it in the dishwasher. Uh, stainless steel, for some reason, doesn't like to be in the dishwasher for that long. Uh, you actually get the metal to turn colors. So um, nothing wrong. It, it won't be poisonous or anything. But just don't put it in the, the dishwasher. You know, just wash it by hand. It's not necessary to put it in the dishwasher. But can it go in the dishwasher? Yes, it can. Heat will not affect it. So, um, so that's it. If you guys have any questions, any other questions that I might have missed on this video, please let me know in the comments below. Um, if you need any uh, shrink wraps, you can find them on my Etsy store. There's a link in the description below. Uh, tumblers, we also sell tumblers on my Etsy store. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff on my Etsy store that you can get if you need it. So. If you have any questions, please let me know. It's a pleasure. Like always, this is set for this video. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. And I don't know, maybe you'll get to um, win one of these uh, colorful Liberty Graphic Designs tumblers. If you want to see anything else being done here in this channel, let me know. And if we can do it, we'll do it for you. Thank you, guys. It was a pleasure. Like always, I will catch you on the next one. And uh, <laughs> see you later. God bless you. Bye-bye now. <laughs> Adios.